Hello, uh, welcome to the first episode of uh, learning cross-platform game development with Coco Studio X. Um, this tutorial series uh, will cover obviously how to make uh, cross-platform games um, using Coco Studio X. Okay. Um, so obviously the language that I'll be using is C++ and uh, the development platform, the initial development platform will be um, will be the Mac but later on we'll see how to you know, um, you know make the same code work on uh, iOS, Android, you know Windows Phone, uh, Windows Desktop, uh, Mac OS X and also let me see okay maybe uh, you know we'll look at uh, you know how to uh, run it on linux also so um, so yeah a little bit about myself um, my name is siddharth shekhar okay um, i've been using coco studio x from the past um, i think about three years now and uh, i have developed a couple of games um, uh, you know using coco studio x uh, coco studio x uh, is my preferred um you know game development framework i was pre previously using uh, coco studio uh, but then um, as you know it is only you can only make games for um, ios and os x um i mean now you have a portable i mean you can make it for android but um, i don't have not used it all that much but i find it that uh, coco studio x okay gives you a lot of freedom uh, because um, uh, Coco Studio, I mean, you still can't uh, build your games for Windows Phone. So, um, I mean, here, if you like in Coco Studio X, if you make the game and if your game does well, okay, um, and uh, you know, somebody using a you know, um, or having a Windows Phone would like to play a game, but then they won't be able to because you know, that is Coco Studio's limitation. Um, so yeah, um, so I've been using Coco Studio X for about two to three years now, and uh, I've also uh, written a book on uh, you know game development using Coco Studio X. It's called Learning Game Development Using Coco Studio X, or uh, Learning Coco Studio X Game Development. Sorry. So uh, you can check this book out also, uh, but. Know, uh, give you a fair warning that this does use version 2.2.3 I have updated the code uh, to 3.3 uh, um, and I have put it up on my uh, blog also um, I have a running blog at uh, on tumblr okay so if you go to my um, my blog and um, you can s scroll down to where I've actually put a link for um, oops okay one second yeah okay sorry i do go to this one i'm still new to tumblr by the way so you have to excuse me <laughs> all right um so yeah uh, this is the so you can go to this site here and you can download the uh, the 3.3 version I'll also cover uh, during the course the differences between uh, version 2.2.3 and uh, I mean version 2.x and what is the difference in version 3.x as compared to 2.x so that uh, whoever you know has purchased this book uh, they won't feel you know left behind so so uh, so uh, this is the game the book I can't make this game because obviously uh, Packy Publishing has the rights to it um we'll be making a game similar to this um you know um using coco studio x so 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 that is it about me uh, so uh, with that all covered okay let's uh, move on to um uh, you know downloading coco studio x so you can go to uh, coco studio x's website so it is coco studio x.org so, so go to this website um, you can see that you know um, uh, there's already a learning tab here where um, uh, you know, there's a good programming guide okay which is uh, you know fairly updated now okay thank to mr moore and then you have a getting started and you also have a wiki page now you, in game section you can look at the different games okay that have been developed with coco studio x so 
um, you know, like Badlands, uh, the port that they made, the initial game was actually developed in Cocoa Studio, but then they, I think they ported the game and they used Cocoa Studio X to actually port the game over. And then you can um, you'll see all the different games okay, that have been uh, published uh, using Cocoa Studio X. You have a forum, okay. Um, I'm actually a very active member of the forum. So if you have any doubts or questions, you can like uh, put it up and uh, I mean there are people apart from me who are like uh, you know, uh, will be more than helpful to like uh, um, help you out. Um, so all you need to do is just go into new topic, okay, um, and then you can create your topic, all right, uh, and, and put in whatever questions that you have and people will be there to answer you. Um, and you have a blog. And then you have the download section where you will actually end up, you know, uh, downloading. The current version is uh, 3.4. Um, I'm just you know, going to use 3.3. I mean, doesn't make a big difference. But you can use 3.3, I mean, or 3.4 either. You can also, also down if you want to continue with 3.3, okay, along with me. You can uh, click on the, uh, this, you know, looking for an older version. Click on that. And then you'll be taken to uh, you know the site here and you can click on this to like download it and you can see that it shows here um, on the bottom of the screen 3.3.zip okay or you can download the latest version also uh, i'll be using coco studio x obviously like i said earlier okay um, uh, do this c plus uh, plus you also have coco studio js uh, if you are more accustomed with the javascript you can use this and uh, But I'll be using Cocoa Studio X, okay? So let's not get confused about that. So you can download this, okay? That'll be a zip, um, uh, you know, that'll get downloaded. So that'll be, once you download that, so you'll, you'll have, you know, the, the file here, and then you can um, download it. You can download it to the uh, you know, desktop and unzip it. Uh, what I usually do is that, um, um, I, I use like different technologies. I'm currently writing another book on, uh, uh, game development using sprite kit so you know um, i like to keep you know, all the projects and uh, technologies separate so I, in my documents folder i have a folder called projects and in projects i have all these different technologies and different versions of coco studio x also oh i have probably 3.4 also oh no that is coco studio okay never mind so uh, you can unzip it to wherever you want you don't have to like put it here so once you have unzipped it, so you will have, um, you won't have this projects folder. Apart from that, you will have all this. And uh, um, uh, the first thing that you would have to do is like, um, well, the traditional way is you go into terminal and uh, um, you know, you would have to, you know, come to this drive and point to this drive but i have a simpler way okay i just go into services and say okay new terminal window at, uh, terminal at folder if i just do that and if i do ls uh, you know so yeah so it's in the same folder actually so it's in uh, coco studio x 3.3 um, probably show you how to do that or you can even google it uh, you can say how to create a terminal okay from the same folder and You'll have enough tutorials on how to like you know do it it's a it's a very small uh, thing so or either way you can just go into ls cd and you know come to this point and anyway so the first thing that you do after coming here is actually you type this okay um don't worry about anything okay just in in my case okay everything is like configured already uh just keep on pressing enter okay till like you come out of it okay um and now you're actually set up to you know develop games with uh, with coco studio x okay so after that uh, you can uh, do one thing you can create a projects folder here okay so these are all the current projects okay that i have here so um, now instead of opening the terminal in 3.3 open the open up a terminal here say new terminal folder okay and how you create a new project is you just type cocos new um, and you just type the name of the project um, say um, learn 
so I'll just cc 2dx okay test okay so that is the name of the project so and uh, next you have to uh, give a bundle name okay so you know so you tap you, you sorry you type a uh, dash p uh, okay this is like name of the project and this is like the bundle of the project so you, you just type like dash p and you give uh, usually this is reverse order of your website or it could be of your email address also actually but it's preferably you can uh, reverse order of your website so it's com dot growl gains studio dot uh, then the name of the project itself okay learn c c c you know two d x or whatever you name a project as okay I'm just, uh, just found it. okay okay and then you have to type the language so that is dash l so we're gonna use uh, c plus plus so we type cpp i think if you're doing js okay and um, you just type js and uh, usually you'll actually uh, do um, a dash d to specify the directory in which you want to put this in but since we're already um, uh, i mean if if you want uh, the project to be created in the in the same folder in which you created the terminal in you can just click enter otherwise you have to do uh, give the uh, the directory location etc i don't i usually don't want to get into that so i just click enter and you can see that the project is created uh, the project folder is created okay so uh, this p actually stands for uh, package name okay um, so this is more like project name and this is like package name or also known as bundle name okay